Hi everyone, I am Gautam, I am physics faculty. Now I am going to discuss a problem related to mechanical properties of solids. So here, a copper wire of length 2.2 meter and a steel wire of length 1.6 meter. First they have given length of copper wire is 2.2 meter and next they have given length of steel wire is equal to 1.6 meter. So here copper wire length 2.2 I wrote here steel wire length 1.6 I wrote here now both of diameter 3 millimeter are connected end to end they are told that both the wires have same diameter same diameter means what we are write about radius we know that radius is half of the diameter so 3 millimeters is given as diameter means I can write 3 by 2 millimeter but if I want to convert to SI units, I can write it as 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter because 1 millimeter is 10 power minus 3 meter. So the radius is given as 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter in the question. Directly then give the radius. They give diameter. From diameter we collected the radius. Fine. We got length of copper, length of steel. But radius of copper and radius of steel both are same. Radius of copper and radius of steel both are same. Now let us see what they are asking. When stretched by a load, when stretched by a load, they are connected end to end. One important point connected end to end. What do you mean by connected end to end? Suppose this is some rigid support we will take. And now we will take first one rod here. So here, let me take the first rod with some color like a black. This is one rod. And another rod, let me take with another color. So that here, the two rods I am taking connected one end to other end. And at the end, they are applying some load. They are applying some load here. Load. That is F, nothing but, we can call it as force applied. A load is nothing but, will give us force. Because F equal to Mg. And they told this is one is copper wire, other one is steel wire, copper and steel. So both are given like that. And they told lengths and everything we wrote about that information, diameter and everything. And they told the elongation copper, let me write it as ECU. Elongation steel wire, let me write it as ES. So yeah, they are connected in series combination. We can call one end connected to another end means they are in series combination. Series combination means they are applied with the same force. So force applied is same. And what about elongation? Elongation is nothing but total elongation is copper elongation plus total E total is equal to copper elongation plus steel elongation that they have given to us as 0 0.7 millimeter net elongation means copper elongation plus steel elongation is 0 0.7 millimeters 0 0.7 millimeters we can also write e total is equal to 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 3 meter if you want to convert into si units this millimeters to meters so 1 millimeter is 10 power minus 3 meters so total elongation is how much 0 0.7 10 power minus 3 meter they are in connected in series force is same cross sectional area is same radius same cross sectional area is also same now let us enter what we have to find they are asking us to find obtain the load applied load applied load applied is nothing but what force we have to calculate force they give x modulus of copper as well as x modulus of steel also. We'll see those values later. First, let's go to the formula. What we know about x modulus means the basic formula y is equal to fl by ae. Just now we told both are having same radius, cross sectional area is same. And applied by series combination, force applied is same. And here, what about elongation? Elongation is directly proportional to length by Young's modulus. That is, elongation of copper by elongation of steel is length of copper by 
length of steel into Young's modulus of copper by no no not Young's modulus reciprocal inverse relation here. So inverse relation means what should I write here? Young's modulus of steel by Young's modulus of copper. You observe here E is proportional to L by Y. E copper by E steel means L copper by L steel. Inverse relation we will get Y steel by Y copper. Now let us substitute those values. They are given Y copper value also. What they have given copper value and Y steel value let us once find it out. And in here already we observed length of copper and length of steel. Those values also let us check it out once and we will write all the values at one place. Let us check. So here length of copper. What is length of copper? Here you can observe length of copper 2.2. Length of steel 1.6. Let me write that. Length of copper is length of copper is how much? I wrote it as 2.2 meter and length of steel is how much? 1.6 meter. 1.6 meter and young small less of copper. They directly they gave here in the brackets you can find here young small less here and no no brackets in give brackets simply young small less of copper is 1.1 into 10 power 11. Young smallest of steel is 2 into 10 power 11. Let me write 1.1 into 10 power 11. Units okay. SI units Newton per meter square. No issue with the units. And again young smallest of copper over young smallest of steel 2 into 10 power 11. 2 into 10 power 11 Newton per meter square. So substituting this data here what we will get. Let us check it out. Now our target is to substitute the data. So length of copper is 2.2 by length of steel is how much 1.6 here what we have steel 2 into 10 power 11 by 1.1 into 10 power 11 we are very happy to see that we can cancel easily this 10 power 11 10 power 11 direct 10 power 11 10 power 11 cancel and 1.1 will go how many times in 2.2 two times 2 by 1.6 means I can write 0 0.8. There is nothing but I can write it as what? 20 by 8. 20 by 8 means what should I write now? Here. Yes. That is 10 by 4. If you cancel again 5 by 2. 5 by 2 is nothing but 2.5. Now simply leave it as 5 by 2. Why again the more simplification why simply leave it as a fraction that is a ratio that is a 5 by 2. We got E copper by E steel ratio as 5 by 2. Fine. Now let us go back. What we got I think you understood simple calculation only nothing is there. So here E copper E copper by E steel is equal to 5 by 2. And already we wrote E copper plus E steel is equal to how much means that value we know already we wrote that value what is that value 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 3 meter you can observe at the ending last I wrote here the yeah, total elongation is 0 0.7 to 10 power minus 3 there's nothing but total elongation so from that what I can write total elongation is 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 3 meter so now from this information what I can do I can write E copper I want to eliminate suppose E steel I want to eliminate suppose I want to eliminate E steel for example I want to eliminate E steel E steel I want to eliminate means I can write 2 by 5 of E copper anything we can eliminate either copper or steel now I targeted eliminating E steel substitute this value here substitute this value here so what will happen here not there no here this is in this equation in this equation above equation we are substituting so what will happen now e copper plus what is that value e copper plus in the place of e steel 2 by 5 e steel is equal to how much sorry 2 by 5 what should I write here in the place of e steel I am writing e copper ok 2 by 5 e copper in the place of e s I am writing this value don't get confused here. Just what I am doing in the place. Either anything you can take. No issue. So here 2 by 5 e copper. Now what happen? I can write as 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 3. If you take common here. What will happen? 7 by 5. 
5 plus 2 means we will get here how much 7 by 5 e copper is equal to 0 0.7 into 10 power minus 3. So here what will happen 7 and 0 0.7 means we will get here 0 0.1 5 will go other side. So we will get e copper value as 0 0.5 what should I write 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3 simple calculation. Here there is no rule that you have to take e steel you have to eliminate and you have to get e copper like that you can eliminate uh, even e copper and you can get e steel any one i want any one i want why you want e steel or e copper why you want one value sir because in the question they are asking us to find force in the question they are asking load load is nothing but force what we know y equal to fl by ae f is equal to yae by l so any one we have to take either steel or for copper if you take I can get the value of F. So suppose I have taken this F is equal to YAE by L is the formula. Now what we select F copper. F copper means what should I write? Y copper into cross sectional area of copper into again what should I write? Elongation of copper by length y is equal to because force is same either steel or copper force doesn't matter no need to write for copper even for steel also same force simply we can write f and we know all these values now what is y copper value just let us check what is y copper they gave value 1.1 into 10 power 11 let me write that one 1.1 into 10 power 11 this is the y copper value and area of cross section of copper and both are same. Generally area of cross section means you will write pi r square. So what is r value they gave? Already they told both are having same diameter. Same diameter means we told same radius. And we have written that value also. You can observe here. Radius 3.2 into 10 power minus 2. Both copper and steel both are same. So 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 3 meter in SI units. So let me take that value there 3 by 2 into 10 power minus 3. Let me substitute here 3 by 2 pi into pi r square right. So pi into 3 by into 10 power minus 3 whole square area units meter square. So let me write here pi into 3 square means 9 10 power minus 3 whole square 10 power minus 6 by 2 square 4 everything I wrote off about area of cross section. Now about E copper, E copper what is the value we got just now, E copper value we found it as 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3, let me write that one, 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3, 0 0.5 into 10 power minus 3 and we are left with length, in the denominator we have L is there, so I substituted here Y copper value, cross area means pi R square I substituted, E copper value I substituted. Okay, in denominator, why to leave this one? Length also is there. What is the value of length? Here, L. L. L value of copper, if you observe. What is L value of copper? 2.2. Let me write that value also here. So, here I am writing now 2.2. So, how many times it goes? It once, this is two times. And here 2 is there. What is left here? F is equal to. In the numerator, this is 0 0.5 means 1 by 2 we can write. So 4 into 2 into 8, 8 into 2, 16 in the denominator. And the numerator, 9 pi into 10 power minus 6 into 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 9. Observe here, 10 power minus 6 into 10 power minus 3, 10 power minus 9, 10 power 11 is there. 10 power 11, 10 power minus 9 means what should I write? 10 power 2, 10 power 2 in the numerator. So that what I can write here 9 pi 9 into 3.14 pi value is nothing but 3.14 into 100 by 16 by 16. So if you calculate this value, if you calculate this value, what we will get here 9 into 3.14 into 100 means 9 into 314. We are getting 9 into 314 by 16. So now we have to calculate this value. We will get the answer in Newton per meter square. I think we will get the value if you do the calculation. Finally you will get the answer as 
176.8 newton 8 newton 176.8 newton this is the answer what we'll get after calculating so here what i want to say is either you can select copper or steel anything you can select one thing you eliminate here what process i did i eliminated steel here instead of steel sir i like copper to eliminate then you take e copper is 5 es by 2 nothing to get confused either e copper or steel any one you have to eliminate then you will get your steel value means then force when you are taking here you have to take the smallness of steel anyhow cross sectional area same elongation of steel you got here length of steel is given you will get the answer same answer i hope now you understood how to handle this problem of uh, finding the force force net elongation is given force is they are asking this is a series combination problem example i hope it is clear thank you very much